and the question is, do you have a girlfriend? So... Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today it is the 1st of January 2020. My has just 2019 been so quick. It's literally gone in the blink of an eye for me and I've had a, such an amazing time in 2019. So hopefully we can have more of that in 2020. But I'm going to start off the year with the video on this channel with a Q&A. So I suppose Let's get started. So I asked you guys on YouTube, on my community page, asked me some questions for my Q&A, and I also asked on my other social medias like Twitter, Facebook, and also my Instagram. And these are the questions that you guys have given me, so let's get into them. Starting off with the first one from Lewis VR saying, who inspired you to do YouTube? So when I first had my channel, I was watching videos from like Stampy, really, like his Minecraft Let's Plays, and that's pretty much what that's pretty much what inspired me to start on Minecraft and stuff. And when I finally got my channel, I was watching videos from Dan TDM and was watching some of his Minecraft videos, him doing some Roblox videos when he used to do them. And I think that's pretty much what turned me into doing the videos that I do today, really. So also, I, 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 then I started to watch some more YouTubers like Squirrel, uh, loads of other YouTubers, and they just all inspired me to do my YouTube channel that I have today. Next question coming in from AB Tree saying what made you start YouTube in the first place and how did you become so famous? So I think the start that I firstly wanted to do YouTube for was because of my skills building Noteblock songs because as you've seen my very first couple of videos or quite a few videos were Noteblock tutorials teaching you how to make some doorbells and I thought I, that's what I had a talent in so I started to do videos based on that and also like watching videos as well, that kind of inspired me. But I think the main thing that inspired me to do YouTube videos was because I'm into my tech, I like to play on my Xbox, and watching videos, I wanted to create the videos that they did because I wanted to do it for the fun of it. And so that's what I did, and then I just started turning into like simulation games, Roblox and stuff like that, and it just evolved into the YouTube channel that I have today. Next question coming in from Ultimate Simon Gaming. He's actually sent in a couple of questions. So the first one he sent in was, why did you start YouTube? So I think I've pretty much got like three of these qu uh, three of these questions, and I basically just said it in AB Trainers' videos. In AB Trainers' question, basically I started off with no blockchain tutorials, I, had, I thought I had a talent in that, and I, I think I do, but I'm not really the best watching other videos as well, like other YouTubers, they inspired me, so why did I start? Basically because I wanted to make videos when I had some time in my free time, and turned into this. The next question he sent in was, why did you decide to do gameplay? And I think this is why, um, I think this is because, I think this is tying in to how I was, in, how, about how I, how I was inspired to do YouTube, if I can get my words out correctly. Yeah. 2020 is not good with my words is it so yeah I think it's because I mainly watch gameplay videos for my inspirations on YouTube and that's kind of why I decided to do it and then turned into vlogs well I didn't specifically go on vlogs I specifically do gameplay because I like my tech I like playing on my computer I like doing that and turning into videos I love it and yeah I just started to do some vlogs like real life stuff and you guys seem to like it I think so I think why I did gameplay was because that's what my inspirations were always doing. Next question from the Robloxian dude is why do you play games? I think it's really the generation I was born up in to be honest. <laughs> like me growing through my, my teen years, my teenager years, I kind of like became like a a typical teenager playing on your computer all the time, playing on my Xbox all the time, and I think that's pretty much why I played game, why I play games, because that's what I always seem to do. And again, I think it tied into the inspiration as well. I was watching mainly uh, game play videos, and that's pretty much why I decided to do on YouTube. Next question from James Coleman saying, "Why did you abandon me for a year?" Now I think I know what he's talking about because I used to do this series called Blocky Friends, which he, which we have started to try and set up again and that is Block of Thrones. He can't do it now at the moment because he is doing some work with his family trying to get some uh, money. Um, I think it's with his family or he's just working really to get some uh, money. So we will be returning but when he has time but I think why he said why he why I abandoned him for a year it wasn't that I abandoned him I just didn't have my Xbox because 
if you didn't see, I actually got a new gaming laptop. Uh, I got it about, I'd like to say about a year and a half ago. I can't actually remember. But yeah, I got my gaming laptop, which meant that I had to... Um, which meant that I had to uh, scrap my monitor and the monitor was what I was using to connect my Xbox to my gaming laptop. Now I have seen, wait, I used the monitor to connect my Xbox to my monitor but now that I have got my gaming laptop and I have actually figured out a method on how to connect my Xbox to my gaming laptop that's pretty much how we started it, how we started up again and yeah so I didn't really abandon you, well I kind of did but I didn't really have my uh, Xbox to do videos with you. I think that makes sense. It makes sense in my mind. Now, the next person who sent in questions has sent in about four questions. So let's start with them in order. So the first one was how many hours how, how many hours you have on Roblox approximately and ETS 2. So I think on ETS I've got about 750 hours, I've got to say. So a really long time. So... Um, yeah, I, re I, I, lo I love the game when I got it. I was literally playing it non-stop. And, yeah, I was just creeped up to, like, 700 hours played. And I think, uh, how many hours on Roblox? I play Eurotrip more than Roblox. So I don't know how many hours, approximately, I have on Roblox. But I'd like to say, maybe, possibly, maybe around 100 or 200 hours on Roblox. I mean, it's probably a lot more than that. But, like, there's no statistics on how to see how many hours you have played on Roblox, however on Steam there is a way. So I think I have got around 750 hours played on Eurotruck, but I'm not really sure about Roblox. So I think it's about 100 and 200. You did say approximately, so I'm gonna go with that. The next question he sent in was, do you remember what is your longest trip in ETS 2? I think it was one that I did on, I think it was the one that I did on the stream, uh, the three hour uh, trucking stream when I did the job from Luxembourg all the way up to a place in uh, in Estonia, I believe it was. Um, it was about 20 hours and all of that was, was land distance. Um, but I think the longest job with ferry trips was probably about a 45 hour trip. And I think like about 30 hours of that was possibly uh, on a ferry. And I think I actually did that job in a truck and career video so I can't actually remember which episode it was, but I'm pretty sure I did that job in a trucking career video. So go back and check my trucking career videos because I think I may have recorded it. Also, I don't think I've mentioned this person's name who sent the questions in, but it's Kusi Imuri. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I should have said it at the start, but I apologize for that. And I also apologize if I spelt your name wrong, if I pronounced your name wrong, but never mind. The next question he sent in was, have you ever had a moment where you almost quit YouTube? Um, I'm not really too sure about that, to be honest. I mean, the whole copper rule going around nearly made me quit YouTube, but like, I was think I was like thinking, but hang on, what am I actually doing YouTube for? And I, I, I'm doing it for the fun of it, so I carried on because the YouTube, the, the money and stuff doesn't really matter to me. I do YouTube because I like making videos and I like showing you guys what I can create and I love editing stuff as well with me being on a college course and yeah I like to make videos that's what I want to do so I didn't quit YouTube because of copper um, but I think another reason where I nearly quit was um, I think it was when I was still at school and people were making like uh, fun of me like with some videos that they created there was like a features gaming uh, exposed video and stuff and that did upset me but then I was like well hang on they're only making fun of me to get me to get attention and for me to try and delete my channel. That's what they were trying to do, I do believe. And I was like thinking, no, not having it, not having it. So I just blocked them on my blocked them on my channel so they can't comment on my videos. Um, I think they see them, but they can't comment. They can't live chat. Uh, and yeah, I just went, yep, yeah, don't care about you, and I just continued doing YouTube. So yeah, I think I have, but kind of because of my smart thinking. Uh, kind of said, no, not going to do it. So yeah, almost. The next question he sent in was, what made you choose this name for the channel? Long story, I did talk about it in a story time with Fetch videos that I did a long time ago, that was actually. Uh, and I think I'll leave a link in the description to the video, but basically, long story short, it basically all started when I was at ice skating. I went up to, instru I went up to an instructor not knowing, his, not knowing his name and said, um, hello Feech. I don't know, Hello Features, and yeah, I don't know how it evolved really, 
my mind just immediately thought, I recognise his face, his name is Features, I don't know. And then, because I do gaming videos, we added gaming onto the end of it, so that was Features Gaming. I think I explained it in more detail in the video, that is linked down below. Okay, so the next person is European Transport TV, and he, uh, and he um, put in two questions. So the first one is, what is your favourite game of all time? Favourite game of all time? I think when I started out YouTube, it was possibly Minecraft, because that's what I started to do like loads of videos on. But I think of all time now, I think it's possibly around, I think it's possibly Roblox, because it's just the sheer amount of games that there's on there. There's like different games, there's PvP games, there's... Um, there's simulator video, uh, videos? There's simulator, there's simulation games, there's tycoons. There's just like a whole variety of games on Roblox, role playing games as well. And I think that's what's more tying me into liking Roblox more. And that's probably why I started to base my channel around Roblox. I mean, obviously I still do play my other games like F1 2019, Euro Truck, Minecraft occasionally. So yeah, I, I do like other games, but I think my favourite game has possibly got to be Roblox, just because of the sheer amount of games that are on the website or platform or whatever you want to call it. The next question is, if you had to make a game, what would it be and why? Now, a long, a long time ago, Voice Break then, for some reason I, I really liked the idea of becoming, a, uh, of becoming a police officer. I don't know why. But because of that, I started to watch, like, police interceptors and stuff like that, like, TV shows like that. And I actually met the police interceptors as well, but that was, like, way before I had my channel. Um, but I, th I think they played football with some uh, singing pop stars, so yeah. I can't remember their names, um, but um, they did that. But that was way before I had my channel, so I didn't blog that. So, I watched police interceptors and... That kind of got me uh, wanting to like see a game if they had that, and I couldn't really see a game that I liked the look of. So I think if I had to create a game, I'd have to base it off a policing game. So I'd like it to be like Euro Truck, so you can collect jobs, but it'll be police related games. So you may have to respond to like a robbery, a um, a bank heist, or stuff like that. Um, I just think that would be a really cool idea for a game. I know it's possibly never going to happen, but yeah, I'd, I'd like it to be like kind of Euro Truck Easy mode, if you see what I mean. I mean, obviously you have like an option to turn on hard mode or like turn the difficulty up and down and stuff. But I'd like the game to be based around Euro Truck, like chases and stuff like that, and also um, including the the wheel as well. So like when you're in a chase, you can like drive with the wheel and stuff. So. I think if if I'd had to if I have to create a game, it'll probably be something along those lines. Okay, so the next person is Charlie plays games H, and he um put and he put in three questions. So let's go through them. Can you play different games in the future, not just Roblox, Minecraft, and Truckers MP, etc.? Also subscribe to PewDiePie. I don't. I wasn't even like put. I wasn't even like following the battle between PewDiePie and T series. I've subscribed to them both. They both deserve. Uh, great respect for being YouTubers. So playing different games apart from the games that were listed in the question. Now, no, none of you guys know this, but for Christmas, I actually got an Oculus Quest. It's right over there. So I'm thinking about doing some videos on the VR. I don't know how to do it, but yeah, I think I've kind of got an idea on how I could create them because there is an option to record directly on the Quest, but then that just shuts off all the sound and stuff. So I think I've kind of got a way on how I can record them. It's going to be a hassle. I know there's going to be a few wires, which is weird, considering that the Quest is supposed to be wireless. It's a, it's a wireless headset, and it is. Um, and yeah, I've, I've played it, all, I've literally play it all the time. I've completed Job Simulator on it, so I'm going to have to uninstall that and reinstall it to like put to make videos on it uh so yeah it is like a, it is really good headset i fully recommend it i've wanted it pretty much since the day it was released um or since the, it was announced actually so yeah I'm, I'm thinking about making videos on that 
I don't know how to do it, but I will try and figure out a method to create videos for you guys. So yeah, possibly. The next question is, why are you male? I don't know. <laughs> it was just how I was born, to be honest. It's mainly like a 50-50 chance when, if I was going to be male or female, I don't know, but I am happy to be male. So, yeah. I don't, the actual, the really main answer is, I actually don't know why I'm male. And the next question is, why am I so lonely? Why are you so lonely? It's supposed to be a Q&A for me, but I'm sure that's not the case. But... Yeah, you're not lonely. Okay, so we're getting on to the final six questions. So the first, so the first of the six of the final six, yeah, final six, comes in from Fake John Doe Zero, and the question is, do you have a girlfriend? So you've probably seen by the title of this video, revealing my new girlfriend, and the answer is yes, I do actually have a girlfriend. Megan is her name, and. Yeah, I, you guys don't know it. I mean, I have created videos with Megan, but yeah, I've never actually said that she's my girlfriend until now. So yeah, she is my girlfriend. So yeah, I'm actually excited to announce that. The next question comes in from Crockton, and the question is, what is your favorite food? Tell me all about your favorite food. McDonald's. <laughs> That's kind of really a meal, really. My favourite food. What is my favourite food? I mean, does it have to be meals? Can it be, like, loads of different foods merged into one? I honestly don't know. If it's talking about, like, restaurant food, I'm probably going to have to go with McDonald's because I just like McDonald's, really. Um, when you get it hot, that is. Um, but I think in terms of my favourite food, and if we are talking about having loads of different foods merged together, I actually like... We call it pasta and bacon. And basically what it is, is it's pasta and bacon bits, basically with cheese sauce, mixed around, mixed in together, and actually it is really nice. Um, also, I've got pizza, I may actually have to say pizza for my favourite food. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, I actually like pizza. But the weird thing is, is that I don't actually like Domino's. I'm not really a fan of Domino's pizza. I haven't been to Pizza Hut for ages, so I can't really tell you about that pizza. But, like, there's a pizza that we normally get from, like, Tesco. I think it's Tesco or Asda, whichever one it is. And, yeah, I actually really like uh, those pizzas. Like, a very thin crust, even though I don't even eat the crusts. I just eat the actual pizza contents and then leave the, the, the edges. So yeah, I think my favourite food has got to be pizza actually. I forgot to say that. Okay, so now we are getting into some questions that were asked that were asked on Instagram. So I don't actually think I actually got any, uh, I don't actually think I got any questions on Twitter or Facebook, which is a bit weird, but yeah, um, I think I only got, uh, the majority of the questions were from YouTube because that's where I have the biggest following. And obviously I had some questions from Instagram. So the first one is from Bailey Huckle 3 and the question is, do you support Forrest? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I think my actual football team I fully support is Arsenal in the Premier League because it's mainly been like family really, like my, um, my um, grand supports them, my uncle supports them. Even though, weirdly, my mum used to go to Bradford games, but, like, I don't really play much with Bradford. I'm only, I'm, I'm mostly, like, Arsenal. I think it's mainly because they're in a higher division or higher league than Bradford. And I think that's pretty much, like, what I, what I supported Arsenal for. There was also, like, my favourite player who used to play for Arsenal called Van, uh, Robin Van Persie. So, yeah, um... I think it's really just a family grown-up thing. I basically grew up with Arsenal, really. I mean, I also support the team that I go for my work experience as well. And, yeah, I think, though, I think though that my main, really, supporters are Arsenal. But, obviously, Nottingham Forest, I do like them. I like pretty much every team. But, like, I, I don't really fully support them. I mean, like, I do... Wait... I do support them, but I think, like, my main supporter is Arsenal, really. I think that's my core team. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with Arsenal final answer. Next question comes in from Lucy Juicy Jane. That's a really good name. 
and the question is why don't you do more theme park vlog you're good at it so thank you by the way for saying that my theme park vlogging skills are perfect if that's what you're saying so I don't really think it's the matter that I stopped recording I try and do theme park vlogs but the thing is is that we don't really go to them as often as we used to because when we used to go to um, when we used to go on holiday to Thor Park Holiday Park there used to be a theme park right next to it called Pleasure Island sadly that is now shut down because I think it went bankrupt so rest in peace Pleasure Island you were a brilliant park so yeah I think it wasn't really the matter that I stopped I think it's really because we don't really go to them regularly so when we do go to theme parks I try and vlog them I try and get as, as much footage as much footage as I can so yeah I mean I don't know when we will go back to um like Alton Towers um what others is there I don't really know my favourite theme park is Alton Towers and also we kind of have like a travelling fair that comes to our local town as well like a really big one at Easter so I'll see if I can get um, a vlog from that. I was actually supposed to publish a vlog from last year's Easter but that never actually went up because the videos were all over the place and I just couldn't cope with it really so yeah I'm going to try and vlog it this year so yeah, I think it's really mainly because I don't really go to theme parks as often. Next question coming in from Phoenix is best, and I think that's actually one of my cousins, actually. Uh, and the question is, have you ever been to somewhere on a plane? Yes, is the answer, but I can't actually remember the plane experience. I think where I've been to, a, I think where I've been to on a plane is Switzerland, and Lapland. I think they're the two places that I went to by plane. I think I went by boat or like by ferry or boat when I went to all the all the Eurotunnel when we went to Paris when we went to Disneyland when I was like two. But yeah I think I've only been to Switzerland and Lapland by plane. If there's been anywhere else I don't know because I actually can't remember but yeah I can't actually remember the experience of being on a plane but yeah, I have been. And the last ever question, or the last but not least question on the list that I've got, is by someone called Wild, and that is actually my friend. And the question is, do you have any pets? Now, years ago, I used to have some pet fish. I don't have them anymore, but I don't actually have any pets now. Like, I don't have a dog, I don't have a cat. I want to, but uh, yeah, my mum thinks they're just like a really messy time consuming pets really so yeah we don't really have like um a dog or a cat really my next door neighbor has a dog i think the other next door neighbor has some pets i think they have some cats but yeah we're, us in the middle we don't have any pets <laughs> so that is pretty much all of the questions so thank you to everyone for sending in your questions i hope you did enjoy um your questions being answered i tried to pick all of them and yeah, I hope you know now know more about me, so I'm going to end this vlog out here. So, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe if you're new as well. And let's see, um, my target this year is 5k subscribers. Can we do it? It's up to you guys. Share this video, share the video with your friends, your family, your gran, your dog, your cat, whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, maybe they'll like my channel and subscribe. So, yeah, I mean... I'll probably say like 5,000 subscribers and then a year later down the line I'll probably be on something like 10. <laughs> I mean my dream really was like 1,000 subscribers but I got that and then like six months later I've got another 1,000 subscribers because on my birthday I got 800 subscribers and currently as I'm filming this now I've got 1.87 thousand. So yeah I've kind of earned probably like 1.1 thousand subscribers in like six months which is awesome i couldn't dream of getting that many subscribers so yeah thank you so much guys for doing that so yeah like i'm hoping to get around 5,000 subscribers at least by the end of the year so subscribe and make sure it happens but apart from that thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video and until then take care and peace out